Good day everyone. I am Jenny Navarro as your math teacher for today. And before we proceed to our second learning, let's proceed to the review of the lesson. Today, we're going to continue how to factor out polynomials completely under learning task number 2. Let's proceed to your example. Let's the have is x squared plus 3x minus 18. In order to factor out completely, we need to factor the first term and then the last term. We have x times x for the first term, while the last term, don't forget the negative sign, which is negative 18. Therefore, the two factors should be positive and negative. We can have the factors negative 3, positive 6, positive 3, negative 6, positive 18, negative 1, negative 18, positive 1. After getting all the factors of the last term, you need to add the following factors to get the middle term. In negative 3 plus 6, we have positive 3. Therefore, this will be the factors of the last term since the sum is positive 3. What will be the factor 4? Can you guess the answer? Under learning task number 2, we have number 5. The given is... 3x cubed plus 24. What can you observe from the given expression? Okay, first, you need to get the CMF. Okay, what is the CMF? The CMF is positive 3. Then the remaining factors are x cubed plus 8. What can you say about the given binomial. x cubed plus 8 is correct. That is the sum of 2 cubes. You can now visit our FB page which is Math 88 to learn how to factor out sum of 2 cubes. Okay. What will be the factored form of the given expression? Of course, the first is binomial and then the second will be the trinomial. Can you guess the answers? To our lesson for today, how to solve word problems involving factory polynomials. Can you open your math module on page number 8? Okay, let's have some examples. Example number 1. The area of a square is numerically equal to twice its perimeter. Find the length of a side of the square. Okay, we have here the solutions on your math module. Since x squared is equal to 2 times the quantity 4s, since the square has 4 sides, we can now have the solutions and we get x equals 8. Let's proceed to another example. Example number 2 on your math module. The sum of the ages of father and son is 39. If the father is 3 less than the square of the son's age, how old are they? Okay, let's proceed to the solution. Let x be the son's age. While x squared minus 3 is the father's age. Okay, why is it x squared minus 3? Since the father is 3 less than the square of the son's age. We have here the solution. Then we get x equals negative 7 and x, and x equals 6. There is no negative age. That's why we have x equals 6 as the son's age. What will be the father's age? From the given Expression x squared minus 3, we have 6 squared minus 3 equals 36 minus 3. 33 is the age of the father. And that is the end of our lesson for today. For your learning task for today, you need to answer page number 8 on your math module, learning task number 3. And then for your worksheets, you need to answer learning task number 3, factoring much, and learning task number 4, factor bingo game. Happy learning!